Guys, how's it going? Thank you for stopping by again. Today I wanted to make this little short video because I'm selling a lot of these uh, fun watches. That's what I call them. If you're not into a uh, Rolex collector, if you're not just a brand collector and you like real vintage watches or, or nice fun watches, that's what I'm going to be selling on my eBay. I'm going to leave a link on the description of this video uh, so you could access my, my um, eBay. I'm going to be shipping worldwide through uh, eBay uh, eBay Global, I think that's what they call it. So if you guys are interested in any of these watches, let me know. Shoot me a, a direct message or something on my Instagram. And I'll show you guys a few of the pieces that I'm going to be uh, having for sale. These are some really nice, high-quality watches. Now, the first one I'm going to be listing is my uh, Tissot uh, CH27. So this is the same watch with as the um, or the same movement. I'm sorry, as the um, Omega 321, the CH27 with the Lemania CH27. It is a beautiful watch. This watch has the original box. As you can see here, and it comes with the original vintage watch. This watch, it's not cheap, but for the money, you can get nothing close to it. And it is just an excellent, excellent watch uh, with, with a beautiful chronograph. And this watch comes with a beautiful tropical dial. The dial just got old in a very nice way, you can see there. This dial has never been retouched. It's called the uh, uh, Tiso 6212-4. And it's called the Snowman because it got the little three dots on some of the hour indicators. So this is one of the watches I'm going to be selling. Another watch that's going to be on the market is my Sheffield Panda Dial with the uh, Volju 7733, I believe it is. This watch was serviced, but it's not keeping great time. It was very hard to service. I couldn't service it myself. I had to go with an old timer to get it serviced. And it's working like about three to five minutes fast a day. So it's something you're just going to get with these old watches. They're not going to be perfect. If you want perfect, then you got to go with a brand new watch. But if you want something that has a lot of class... This is the watch to go. This watch, I believe it's 38 millimeters. Let's take a look at it. Yep, 38 millimeters. So this watch would be considered a jumbo dial or a jumbo watch. And it's just a great watch in the 1950s. Beautiful watch. Not a lot of missing chrome from the case. As you could see here, it's a very well taken care of watch. It's a used watch. It's not a safe queen by any means, but it's just a very nice watch. This is just a nice watch all around as well. It's a bull of Acrotron with the square case. I like the way they uh, they cut the case and they screwed on the movement. As you can see here, it's like two separate watches in one. And the tuning fork for this watch comes as one big single barrel. The tuning fork is very different from most of the Acrotrons out there. And Acrotron is coming down with their new models. So this is a pretty fun watch to add to your collection. And it's humming really nice. I uh, just installed a brand new battery, oil the movement. It's, the watch is working very, very good. Let me show you guys another Acutron that's a fantastic watch. This watch is in solid 14 karat gold. It's a ladies watch, but look at that dial. The only thing that's missing is Cartier from the dial. But other than that, th this watch is basically a, a, a tank from Cartier. If you, if you see the matte white dial, beautiful dial with the Roman numerals. This is just a great watch for a lady or a gift that you might want to give to somebody. Like I said, 14 karat solid gold and fun little watch to, to have in your collection or, so, or to gift this watch. It's just a great little watch all around. One of the nicest watches I have here is this Booker. This Booker, it's made in 18 karat solid gold. You got a few things in the back as you can see. But the watch is amazing. And this watch is substantial. It is a big watch. And let me see what the size is. For a square watch, 28 millimeters uh, wide. So if, if you know square watches, you know this is a big size. This watch has the same wind up movement as a uh, Piaget would have. So it is a high quality uh, 17 Ewell movement time only. But look at that. 18 karat solid gold case, 18 karat uh, indicators, and the hands are probably 18 karat as well. This watch is just beautiful. It's it screams 70s. It's just a great fun watch to have. Like I said, a, a really nice uh, 17 Yule uh, movement. 
and uh, the the person I got this watch from had just serviced this watch, so the watch is keeping perfect time. Beautiful 18 karat gold watch. And this one's going to be, all of these watches are going to be on my eBay. So if if it's something you're interested in, um, the link is going to be down, down in the description for these watches. If they're not up yet, they'll probably be up tomorrow. Uh, yeah, latest tomorrow. I have a few up here, but um, I'm, I'm working on them. I just wanted to make this video so you guys could start seeing these watches. Let's do two at a time now. This is a brand spanking new NOS uh, uh, Balmes here. This watch as well comes in 18 karat solid gold you can see the stickers here beautiful watch and very nice torno uh case everything is original on this watch comes with papers and not with papers with the original box the band as you can see it's the original band it's never been used it's just an incredible 18 karat gold watch it's it. if this is something you guys are looking for a nice gold dress watch this is one, and this is another amazing watch. This is a Longines Le Grande, and this watch comes with box and papers and everything for this watch. Quartz as well, 18 karat as well. I'll see, there you go. This watch has been worn, but has been worn very lightly. Original strap, everything original. Like I said, box and papers, very nice strap, high quality straps. Longines uses high quality straps on their watches. Something that will dress up any occasion for you guys. This watch does come in a smaller size. It is a 34 millimeter, 33.8. So uh, we'll call it 34 millimeter. You guys know I am a Movado fanatic. And here we have two 14 karat solid gold Movados. You got the Movado Sapphire and the Movado Just Plain Museum. These watches are both in 14 karat gold. This one here should be from the uh, early 2000s. And this is a Zenith Movado. So this watch is going to be from the, I want to say, late 80s at best. Sapphire Crystal on both and not a scratch on there. So this watch here, you could see it has some spider webbing or damage to the dial, whatever you want to call it, but the, it's going to be priced accordingly, guys. So guys, if you're interested in any of these watches, let me know. Like I said, my eBay is going to be down here. Shoot me a question. If there's anything I could do for you guys, let me know. And again, thank you for stopping by. The majority of these are going to be solid gold watches. So uh, shoot me a direct message if there's anything I could do for you guys. And like I said, um, more videos coming down the pipe. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.